All right, a stem and leaf plot is another way to take data and display it, uh, make it more visual. Uh, and basically it's a data display that organizes data based on their digits, on their place values. Each value is separated by a stem, the leading digit, and a leaf, the last digit or sometimes digits. And so in general here in class, um, we're gonna organize everyone's birthday uh, in this area here. So you'll have to get that information next time you're in class. But a stem and leaf plot looks like this, where you have the stem, which is the first part, and the leaf. So that's in general the um, kind of the form. Um, and then you need a key. You need a key that says, um, like for example, let's say, 5.9 equals 5 line 9. So what we're saying is we're splitting between the ones place and the tenths place. Um, you could have a key that says 61 equals 6 line 1. That key, for example, again, it all depends on your data, um, is saying we're splitting between the tens place and the ones place. All depends on your data. You do need to provide that key, otherwise we have no idea, um, you know, what place values you're actually looking at. So let's actually put this um, kind of to practice here. So I already set this up for you a little bit. We have a software developer advertise a position at its home office. The list below shows the number of applications the office received per day. Make a stem and leaf plot of the data. So I was nice to you um, on this first round here, and I uh, put it in order for you. Stem and leaf plots should always be in order. So in this case, uh, we, most of our numbers have two digits to them. They have a tens digit and a ones digit. You'll notice there are a few only one digit numbers, which is why we do have a stem of zero. Technically, there could be a zero in front of these guys as the stem. So we do need right off the bat to put a key. I would, you can pick any number up here you want. Um, I'm gonna use 39. And I'm gonna say 39 equals three, line nine. There's my key, okay? So you can pick any number in your data to provide your key. So the, st the stems um, of zero are eight and nine in order, okay? The stems that have a one in the tens place uh, are just 18. So notice where that split's coming. So that's all I need to do there. Um, you do need to include every data set. So we have a 4, a 4, 5, a 7, and a 9 that have 2s for 10s places. So I'm going to include all those. For 3s, it looks like I got a 2, a 2, an 8, a 9, a nine, and that's it for there. For 40, I have a zero, put a one for 41, another 41, a 42, and a 47. Finally, for 50, um, I have a two and a six. So that would be a stem and leaf plot. A stem and leaf plot can kind of allow you to look and see like where most of your data is. I have, a, I can tell right off the bat, I have a lot of numbers in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, not so many numbers on in the zeros, ones, and fives place values or, you know, teens and 50s place values. So that's kind of a, a stem and leaf plot, just splitting um, down, um, leaving the first number as your stem, the rest of the numbers as your leafs. Okay, so make a stem and leaf plot of the data below. Now, you could put it in order right off the bat, or you could put it in order in the leaf plot, whatever you want to do, as long as it is in order. Again, we need a key. I've given you a tens and ones example, so I'm going to use 76 equals 7, line 6, so they know where the split happens. So I'm going to put a 5 and an 8. Looks like covered that for six. Looks like it say zero and a four. Again, like to cross it out so I don't leave anything behind. And notice they are in order. And looks like just a two and a three. OK. 
Okay. Ordered stem and leaf plot is key. All right. Let's take a look at how to analyze a stem and leaf plot here real quick. So this is looking at almost combining a stem and leaf plot into one. So we have like class one going this way, and the key basically is saying um, we're splitting between the one's place. So like this way is 22, that way is 20. So let's see if you can kind of figure it. So this is always going to be in the 10 spot. Um, compare the ages of the participants in two yoga classes. Okay, so, you know, if we were trying to, basically list out all for uh, for class one all the ages um, we would say okay well they have a 19 year old looks like they have a 22 year old two 24s so kind of un unwinding the stem and leaf plot 25 26 they got a 32 they got a 32 34 37. So though that's all my data there. And again, I got that from kind of just working this way. So for class two, I got an 18 year old, I have an 18 year old, I have a 19 year old, a 19 year old, uh, two 20 year olds. 21, 23 year old, and two 30 year olds. So what I could do then is find the mean, median, and mode now of this data set. So you could unwrap the data set, find the mean, median, mode, and that would allow you to compare them. So I'm going to have you do that um, now. If you need a reminder of how to do that, um, then go back to lesson one. So class one, mean, median, mode, class two, go ahead and fill that out for those two, all right? 